Good evening. Ignite Your Purpose. Welcome to the show, episode 170. 170. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Today we're going to talk about a couple of things, and they're related, interconnected. They are one and the same. It's about being better, but it's also my birthday. I'm 45 years old. Living the dream. Had a great day. 45, halfway to 90. The wife said that's enough for her. I've been pitching for 120 for a couple of years, so I had some little tears. The thought without being without Emma for 30 years, so that was pretty tough. But Max is going to roll into talking about health and we're never too old to change and to make that little bit of a difference, even if our life is 1% better today or tomorrow than it was yesterday. Uh, we can grow. I think he's got a, a little bit of our intro to say as well. So I'm going to pass you over to the Mossimo, the Maximus, Mr. Positive Vibes Lifestyle Movement. Ten years in the game. Yes, ten years in the game. You know what, beautiful people? It's all about Ignite Your Purpose. Uh, and that's what John and I do every day. We are Ignite Your Purpose. We talk longevity through a healthy lifestyle. We are a mix of the mental, physical, and that spiritual knowledge, baby, because you damn well know it's a trifecta. It's the mind, body, soul trifecta, to be precise. And every day at its base form, baby, it's so simple. Every single day, negative to positive. We're trying to be better than the day before. And on that note, and on the other note that it's John's birthday, I ran into a friend of mine coming out of the gym today. He is... I'm going to say, I'm guessing here, don't quote me, I'm going to say he's in his early to mid 50s. Uh, and I was coming out of the gym and he said to me, Oh man, like da da da, you look great, son. And, and this gentleman used to work for one of my companies and he's like, You look good. And he's like, Me, I'm fat and I'm married and I'm 50 something, he said. And he said, So, you know, I think I'm doing okay. And kind of what I want to talk about today, John, is the mindset behind so, that. So, Thinking man, that. So I'm just going to chip in. Was he okay with being 55 and fat and okay? Or was he just saying he thinks he's okay? Honestly, yeah. I think it's a story we tell ourselves. I just, this is what I got from him, right? I, I knew him um, way back in the day. You know, he used to help me do some things around houses and he was skinnier. He was never really in shape, but he's one of those guys that goes and eats the pub grub, goes to the pub every night. He smoked, he, you know, so, the, and that's his lifestyle. And I know that makes him happy and that's great. But when you say to me, I take this and this is just me, I'm not, I can't talk to anybody else. I'm not judging. I'm just saying, when you say that to me, I look at it like it's the easy way out. And you can say that. I don't care if you're 52, you're 73 or you're 26, you can use any age as the, eh, but I'm, I'm 56 now. So. This is just normal. That's what he was trying to tell me. Like, it's just, it's, he was basically saying, I'm going to get there too, right? Like, and I just take it as that mindset because John's birthday brought this to my head. And I'm like, me and John have sat down, looked online, looked at people in their fifth, their forties, fifties, sixties, seventies. And we will, and there's some in their eighties now that I've seen in Japan, even in their nineties. Yeah, they move slower, but brother, they got the dope bodies. They still got a six pack. They eat well, and I just cannot, for me, I just can't accept that, you know, okay, next year, well, hey, if next year you're 33 or next year you're 45, it's over. Like, I just can't accept that. I think it's in the mind, and I think we can be better. And it doesn't mean you need to be a super superstar athlete. It doesn't mean you need to have, you know, guns of steel and the six packs and look like a Spartan, but we can start today to be better tomorrow. What do you think, John? Give yeah. Your feedback. yeah. 100%. Um, it's interesting, interesting that there's two things that I want to say actually. I was chatting to a friend today. He is in his 60s. He's just stopped flying as a, as, as a pilot because at a certain age we have to stop. But he was telling me that uh, he was driving down to go swimming. He swims maybe once or twice a week, but he's working out for an hour a day, five days a week. He's in his 60s, never felt better. But um, the other point you said about people in their 40s or the 50s or the 60s or even their 80s who are, they're still smashing it. 
Yes. And, and that reminded me about, uh, I don't know if you've heard about the Blue Zones, these yep. four or five areas around the world where people just naturally live longer, they've got more centenarians than anywhere else. And That's right. We can work lyrical, we can get in the weeds about where it is, but one of the common denominators across all of these areas is these people just move naturally every day. They may still wash the dishes by hand, they may still push the lawnmower around the garden. They've just got movement as part of their everyday. They walk down to the shops to collect their groceries. Um, so we don't, we don't all have to, to take on a 5K or a 10K or a marathon or a 100K run at whatever age. Our own marathon can be, I've not walked down to the shops for two years. It's just said, so, you know, I'm going to walk down there and I'll get a lift back or I'll get drive down there. I'll leave the car and pick it up tomorrow. It's creating these very small, tangible steps that you can take rather than saying, I can't, start saying, how can I? How can we, how can I achieve these little things? Post an electric. I, yeah. I Go could on. not agree with you more, John. Um, and and having said that, you know, these these blue zones, and, and we've talked about this numerous times, you and I and, and many other people, but and if you want to do some research, go look at it. Um, there, there is there's, there's five areas, and these people usually walk to the market daily, there and back. Or if they, they, they hang out in the town squares, and they dance, and they sing, and they drink, and they, it, it's, it, there's so many things involved. But here, you know, and I think in maybe your area as well, John, I think people think, yeah, like, the excuse is, well, they see me coming out of a gym and I've just been in there for an hour and a half, whether it's been an Olympic training or a running thing or a CrossFit thing. And they're just like, well, you know, I'm this age, so I don't want to do that. And that's fine. But there are things you can do to be better. And that could, like you said, so many times it could be a walk. It could be eating more veggies. There is so many minor things instead of just kind of which we always do in society, John, we're going to call it laziness. And then we're going to put a wall up and just say, no, I'm done. Like I've in, yeah. in my mind for a lot of these people, I think they just give up because it's easier. It yeah. does take hard work to die healthy. Right. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's, there's a couple of factors. Um, it doesn't help that the media is so complex and anything of any value needs to be complex and needs to be expensive and have all of these steps. And I believe that as soon as you try to introduce changing the diet, changing the sleep, changing the meditation. We've got to have our cardio workout, our low-fat diet, we, but we need the macros. As soon as you start dropping in all of these different elements of health, of which they are all elements, it becomes too difficult. So it, get, it gets thrown out the window. And the second thing, I've forgotten. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> It'll come oh. back in seconds. But just keep it, keep it simple. Just... Get up, exactly. walk in the morning, five minutes, two minutes, one minute. <clears throat> go to the toilet. Every time you go to the toilet, do a few squats. Yeah, you know, whatever. Simple things. Totally. We 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 tend to make it. I've remembered what I was gonna say though. Oh Mac. Max is frozen up again. Max is frozen up. The other factor of why we don't think do things it's uh, self-worth if i achieve that goal will i get the recognition that i never used to have will i get the pat on the back that i never used to have so if i so if i do it and i don't get that pat on the back or that recognition or the the platitudes from people or, or just the you know the the recognition for doing something is Max coming back? Yeah, I was just saying, Max, that sometimes people don't choose not to do these things because if they lose that five kilograms, if they do that five, they run. if they uh, finish that art project and they don't get the pat on the back and that recognition and that, uh, that the, 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 the kind of self worth, if they get the love, the if they don't get that, then you think, well, what the fuck next? So it's easy and you to do it. I I 100% agree with you. And, and in the end, man, it has to be for you. 
Um, there is some selfishness involved in selflessness. Yeah. You, we all need, uh, John and I had this talk about this today. We all need to take care of ourselves first. It's not taking care of, you know, the grandparents, the grandkids, the next door neighbors. That's all good and well. But if you're putting yourself at risk doing that, then you actually, we actually cannot be there for the empowerment and betterment of everybody around us. If we're not, if we're not 120 percent ourselves. Yeah. And like you said, John, it doesn't need to be that harf, 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 hard. We don't need to make up these stories and excuses in our own mind for as to why we can't. Oh, it's this age. Oh, it's too cold. Oh, it's too hot. Oh, it's I'd rather watch the movie. We just got to shut the F up and do it. Hence why the blue zones where they're forced to because it's just part of societal things that they walk down to the market. They have to walk to go get water or whatever the story is. Right. It's just part of life instead of sitting down stationary all day, then going home, foot, eating your beer and your chips and then watching movies for three hours before you go to bed. Yeah, yeah, I, I know people that put themselves second for for most of their lives. Um, Fair enough. Believing that it is it's for the greater good and for the greater good of the other people. But I, I just always wonder, well, how much more could you achieve if you'd have just occasionally put yourself first, taking care of your own health, your own headspace, your own wellness. Uh, what else could you? And I've seen what some of these people have achieved on yeah. half a tank, but you know totally. we, we we've only got so much in our tank, and we need to keep some of that for ourselves before we give it all away. Because if we give it all away, then it's a yeah, it's quite often a downhill struggle, and we won't achieve those things. And the thought of walking to the shops is it's too far. So um, I, I was I put this up before. Uh, this arrived in the post a couple of days ago. Blue Zone, oh. National Geographic, it's been on there, you know. Beautiful. A couple of two, three times, I think, but it's well worth a read, and um, I think society could learn a lot from these places uh, by making um, many things that would be simpler rather than more complex. And Max talked, spoke earlier about the society and the, uh, the, the phrase F society came up. <laughs> Look after yourself, get your own shit sorted, and then once that's squared away, then we can give our best, the best version of ourselves to other people. So, uh, the only thing to finish off, Max, that's you know, it's nearly 15 minutes, our normal thing. Do you remember the it's out there always online? People, it's a quote by the Dalai Lama. He was asked what his biggest, you know, mind F with humans was, and he said, you know, it's funny because the man works so hard to earn money, works so hard to earn that money that he puts his health but last, right? So yeah. we can call it health, we can call it kids, whatever. And then, ourselves last. And then what do you do? You take every damn penny you ever made to hopefully get your health your back. Health. Get your health back. I heard that this week. Totally, right? Like we got to, we just got to get our priorities, sort of priorities straight and we are the priority. Because then when we are 100 plus percent, we can then take that energy, which John and I experience every day, and throw it out there because it feels so damn good, people. Yeah. Well, I think for me, bye-bye. I'll, well, I'll see you every day between now. I'm a 40, uh, my 46th birthday in 365. We'll see you every day from now to 120, baby. Just now to on different platforms. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening, for subscribing, for liking. All of that jazz, and uh, we'll see you next time. Appreciate you guys. See you tomorrow. Peace. Bye -bye.